Hey guys, welcome back to another Imagine Forward tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a dynamic, heavy breathing system for when your player is running or for whatever you want, really. But in this example, it's going to be running. So when we start running, we're going to have a kind of light breathing sound effect. The longer we progress on with our running, we get to kind of medium breathing. I'm not sure what you'd really call it, but your breathing gets heavier. And as we're running for even longer, it will get to really heavy breathing. And then when the player has to stop, so they run out of energy, out of stamina they'll have a recovering breath sound effect. So essentially, the longer the player runs, their breath will progressively get heavier as they're getting more tired. So let me show you what this is gonna sound like now. So I hit play, and just hold left shift to run around. And you can hear we have that sound effect there. Now I've set this up to transition between them quite quickly just for the purpose of the tutorial. So I'll show you what this is gonna sound like. You can see, we've gone to this next one. And we've gone to the final one of early heavy breathing, like so. Again, for me, this is very quick, but for you, this can be whatever you want, however fast or so you want it to be. And then we ran out of stamina, so we now had a recovering breath sound effect, like so. So this is what we're going to be creating today. You can use drone sound effects. You can set it up to be slower, to be faster, to have more sound effects in there as well. So I've only got three or four in if you include the recovering, but you can have as many as you want. So we're going to be making this today. So let me delete the code that I've created and I'll show you how I made this. So the first step we want to take is to import our sound effects which we're going to be using. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to where I got these sound effects from and then also the site in which I cut them up to get them to how I want as well. So there'll be a link in the description down below to download these and like I say, these are the sound effects that I've got. <sighs> And when you make these, you're gonna to want to make sure that they sound like they can loop well. So you can hear it with the heavy breathing. It starts with an exhale and ends with an inhale. So when it loops, it'll go inhale, exhale. So we're setting up like that, and that's just the way I've edited the sounds for them to be. But again, you can use whichever sound effects you like. So once we've done that, we're gonna to want to start creating our code. So to do this, we're gonna do this in the character blueprint. So for me, that's gonna be content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character, but for you this could be third, first, whatever you've named it. Once you're in here, what I want to do first is just set up a very simple sprinting mechanic. So I do have more in-depth videos on this, on sprinting and stamina, stamina drain, regen, all that good stuff, but right now I'm just going to create a very simple one. So what I'm going to do is just right click, get left shift, keyboard event there. Again, you can use the code you already have if you do have sprinting ready. Off of this, I'm just going to get the character movement out of that, set max walk speed, off of pressed, I'm going to set this to be my running speed, which I'll have as 1200. And off of released, I'll set it back to default, which is going to be 600, as that's the default character movement speed. And that will be off of release. Again, I'm doing this quickly, as this isn't what the tutorial is about. But then after you've got this set max walk speed here, we want to set a boolean called is running. So I'm going to create a new variable here. So create the plus variable, making sure it's a boolean, so the red one, a true or false value. I'm just going to call this one is running, question mark like that. Off of pressed, obviously going to set this to true as we are running. Off of released, I'm going to set it to false as we're not running anymore. So make sure you just tick the top box there for true. Then underneath this, what I'm going to do is you're going to create something to drain the energy. And now you can use stamina in this if you want as well, which might make it easier for you. But I'm going to be using energy instead. So if you want, you can use this. It might make it easier for you to follow along. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a custom event like so. And I'm just going to name this one drain energy. Again. You can use your stamina, and in actual fact, I'll show you where to put your stamina in later on in the code if you want to use that instead, which might make it easier for you to implement with your current code. Out of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable called energy. So I'm going to hit the plus variable here, name this one energy like so. I'm just going to change this from a boolean to be an integer. I'm going to set the integer off of there like so. I'm just going to set this to be my current energy minus a certain amount. So I'll get energy there, drag and drop, get energy. Out of that, I'm going to get an integer minus an integer, plugging the return value into the set there, and I'm just going to have this as minus 4. So every time we drain the energy, it will minus 4 from it. That can be quite high, however this is just how I want it to be. Set this to be whatever you want again. Off of this set energy here, I'm going to get a re-triggerable delay, like so. I'm going to set this to 2 seconds. So basically, while we're running, every 2 seconds, the stamina or the energy will go down by four. So again, set these two values here to be whatever you want. So this is how often it's gonna go down. This is how much it will go down by. 
and we're using a retriggerable delay so basically the player can't just keep spamming left shift to not drain the energy so this will work a lot better for us off of this completed we want to get a branch so we're going to hold down b and left click to get a branch plugging that in there with the condition of our is running boolean that we made earlier off of true we're going to come off of that and we're going to call function drain energy and the reason we have this branch here is because after the two seconds are up we want to make sure that we're still running because during these two seconds the player could stop running if they do we obviously don't want to drain the energy anymore and the reason we put the drain energy at the end is because this will then loop it until the player stops running so now we've created this drain energy custom event we also want to call this once off of the sprinting up here so when we first start sprinting we're going to start this loop of draining the energy as well so off of set is running to true up here we're going to call function drain energy and that will work perfectly like so so now we can run and we can drain the energy for when we're running as well so now down underneath this i'm going to create something to play the sound effect so you can use just play sound 2d wherever you want but this way is just slightly more efficient so i'm going to be doing it this way so i'm going to right click under here again and get another custom event so there's quite a few custom events in this one i'm just going to name this one play breathing sound effect or whatever you want to name it out of this i'm going to get another branch so hold down b left click the branch in there but the condition of again is running as again we only want to do this if the player is running because if they stop running we're going to want to play the recovering breath sound effect so we'll do that in a minute if we reselect this play breathing sound effect as well what we want to do is we want to add an input so we're going to press the input on the new parameter there i'm just going to name this one sound effect but you can have this as breathing sound effect or anything you like although for some reason it won't let me name it sound effect but i don't have anything else named that so i'm not sure why that's what's happening so I'll just give it a different name of breathing sound effect instead, like so, and there you go. Now we're going to change this to not be a boolean, and instead we want this to be a sound wave. So we just get sound wave there, click it for a sound wave object reference. And what we're doing here is we can essentially set this to be the sound effect we want to play. Then out of this we can come out and we can then just play sound 2D, meaning that whatever sound effect we input here is going to be played out of here which is why this is a little bit more efficient for us so i'm just going to plug that into true there is off of true we want to play the running sound effects for our heavy breathing off of false i'm just going to use a simple play sound 2d like so with this one just being our recovering breath sound effect so you can just search for that there i need my recovering breath sound effect and this is going to be our playing the breathing sound effect system here where we can just call this and input the correct value that we want in the correct audio file so that will work perfectly. So what I might do is actually comment this code as well, just so we know what it's all doing. So I'll comment this top one, I'll just have this as sprinting. Comment this one as just drain energy, just so we know what it does from afar and from a distance, so we don't have to zoom in if we have a problem or anything. And then this one, it will just be play sound effect, or I'll have play breathing sound effect, like that. And then the next step is we want to actually determine which sound effect to play. So we have it so we can sprint, so we can drain the energy and we can play the sound effect but now we actually need to know when to play the sound effect so to do that we're going to do another custom event so underneath this play breathing sound effect we have here i'm going to right click and get another custom event like so so add custom event i'm just going to name this one check energy or for you this could be check stamina so out of this as it sounds we just want to check to see how much energy or stamina we have so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold down b left click to get a branch plugging that into there like so and then I'm going to drag and drop a reference to our energy here and then get energy and what I'm actually going to do with this is you can see the default value is zero I want to set this default value I'm going to set mine to 50 you can have this as 50 100 70 10 anything you like but this is again to the amount of energy we have which again is relative to how you are subtracting it and draining it up here or again this can be your stamina so what I want to do is out of this going to get a less than or equal to so an integer is less than or equal to an integer and i'm going to set this bottom value to be 50. this is essentially just the maximum value of your energy or stamina that you have we're going to come out of this again and we're going to get a greater than or equal to so an integer is greater than or equal to an integer and i'm going to set this one to 31. now i'm setting it as 31 as i want the next bracket to be 30. so what i'll actually do is I'll do the less than or equal to first so you can understand it a bit better. So I want to have three different sound effects. So I need three different checks. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this less than or equal to two times. So I've got one, two, and three. 
Again, I'll plug the energy into the top values of those there. So now the top bracket, I want it to be if the energy is less than 50. The second bracket, I want to be if the energy is less than 30. And the bottom bracket, I want to be if the energy is less than 15. So when the player has 50 or less energy, they're going to have the light breathing. When the player has 30 or less energy, they're going to have the slightly more heavier breathing. And then when they have 15 or less energy, they're going to be full on really heavily breathing as they're really exhausted. So as you can see here, this is 30. So this greater than is 31. So we're going to do the same down here. Because the reason we need the greater than is because this will always be true. Because 30 is obviously less than 50. So it's going to be true, meaning it won't then go to these checks down here. Because if I put the branches in as well, that might also help to explain it. So if I hold down B, left click to get another branch, plug that into the false of this first branch up here. So the reason I'm doing that is because if this isn't less than 50 anymore, we're going to go on to the next bracket. So I want to then go down here to check if it's less than 30. But obviously, it's always going to be less than 50. So we need to see if it's less than 50 and greater than 31. So if it's in between these two values, if it isn't in between those values anymore, it's going to go down to see if it's in between these values and play that sound effect. If it's not between those values, it will check these ones. So let's set up all those values now. So we have 50 and 31. The next bracket, I want to be 30 and 16. And so obviously this one's 15. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this greater than or equal to, plugging that in there with the energy going into the top value there. And this bottom value, like I say, it's going to be 16. So it's just one more than the top end of the bracket beneath that. And again, I'll do the same with the bottom one. And this one is just going to be greater than one. As obviously we don't want to go below zero. So it's going to be one top value being the energy we have there. But then how do we link all these into the branches? All we're going to do is we're going to use AND booleans. So I'm going to come out of this top one here, get an AND boolean, plug in that with those there. And what this means is that the energy has to be less than or equal to 50 and greater than or equal to 31 for this branch here to come off as true. So put that into the condition there. And essentially this just means if the energy is between 50 and 31, this will be true. If it's not, it will check to see if it's between 30 and 16. If it is, this will be true. If it's not, it will check to see if this is between 15 and 1. If it is, we'll play that sound effect. If it's not, it will stop running and play the recovering sound effect. So again, let's finish setting this up. So we'll get another AND boolean there, plugging that one in there like so, and go into the condition of the second branch. Now hold down B, left click to get our third and final branch, plugging that to the false of the one above it. Condition going into another AND boolean down here like so. So we're just checking to see what the player's stamina is and then playing a relevant sound effect according to that. So that works perfectly now. So now this has set up our three different brackets of our different sound effects for which we want. So I'm going to select that all and hit C to comment it and just call this determine energy brackets or whatever you want to name it. That makes sense to me. I mean, you can name it whatever makes more sense to you. So check player energy or anything like that. So off of true, what we want to do is we want to play the sound effect. So I'm going to come off of true of this first branch here and I'm going to play breathing sound effect or call function play breathing sound effect there to get this custom event we made earlier. And as you can see, we now have this input here to input our breathing sound effect. So I'm going to do that. So this first one, I want to be light breathing. So in here, I'm going to input light breathing sound effect. So light breathing there. Then I'm going to do the same for these two. So I can just duplicate this another two times down here, plugging that into the true of these branches here. This middle one, I want to be the medium breathing. So I get medium breathing there. And the bottom one, I want to be heavy breathing, like so. And now we have that set up there. So now what we also want to do is we're checking the energy. So we set that part up, the very base part. We need to finish it off in a minute. However, we want to also call this again. So what we're going to do is go back up to our sprinting code up here. You can see we called drain energy. We want to do that again, but now we we'll check energy. So we're draining the energy. We also want to check it to start that loop as well, like we're starting the drain energy loop. And we will start these every time we run, which is the only time we need them. So after drain energy there, we're just going to call function check energy as well, which will then work perfectly for us too. So now it's going to check and drain whenever we need it. And then let's go back down here to this code like so. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today's episode. I'll pick up on this again tomorrow and finish it off then. I did record this all in one big episode, but it's kind of a little bit long for just one episode. So I'm going to split it in two down the middle like I am now. 
so like I say I'm just going to end it here and then again I'll finish this and upload the other half of the video tomorrow in which we'll be finishing this off and adding in looping the sound effects and playing it when we need it and all that good stuff just essentially finishing this code which we have here so I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below again next video is out tomorrow at 6pm GMT so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one